Okay guys, Akomodo Crypto here and finally a Bitcoin update. I think it, it has been uh, a week, right? Since I, I gave you guys my last update, but I was uh, paying attention and I was trying to figure out what was happening and uh, and since we haven't seen any kind of a uh, strong movement or decisive movement, I I, I just I just uh, decided to not provide a, an update that was I thought that I, I thought it was a it was a, a moot point to provide you guys an update every day on something that was not really moving. Okay, and it and the the, the, the inter interesting is it hasn't moved significantly yet okay let's take a, a look uh this is this is exactly the same chart that i have left uh it was uh, last week right this is the exact exact same chart um it was friday right the last and and there it is the siren <laughs> again the siren okay we have a, a nuclear warning we have a nuke coming so brace yourselves <laughs> oh sorry this is a bad joke <laughs> um, so um, we broke out of this yellow trend line here but this is not significant and not and not decisive yet okay we are 327 26 days in this correction it's almost one year okay um, and we we, this might be the beginning of this C here. This might, okay, and then there would be uh, this would do, we would have an A B C. This, this is this suffice to be a A B C to complete this E here. It's not. It it it, it it's uh, uh, it's a lot of lines here. Let me take this. This let me turn this off. Yes. To faces, okay. Even though we have this, uh, this would be our A. This is B, and uh, no, sorry, A. This would be a B. This would be a flat B here, and then we we'll have a C. It's enough, okay. It's a, enough of a movement. We touched this uh, bottom train line here, okay. Which uh, I don't know why, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. This bottom line here. Now that I'm looking at it. I think I draw, I've drawn it uh, in a larger. This is a throw off. It's okay, but yes, yeah. We throw, we 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 touched this uh, bottom line here. Okay, we haven't touched this yellow line here, which has been a really good support where we have this green support here. Uh, but but we, and then we had uh, this reaction. Okay. Is this reaction a motive impulse wave, which would um, which would characterize uh, wave C here going up? We don't know. Okay, we don't know yet. What, uh, if you if we take a look at the not this one, but uh, we're gonna talk about this one in a second. This one, this is bit stamp two hours. If we take a look at this chart again, it's the, the very same chart that I have provided you guys on Friday. Um, I have I have drawn this triangle, we broke down and we found support here, okay? The same thing, support here. If you have been following me and if you have been following me on, um, on my Discord group, you're gonna see that the chart explains itself and we work over it. We were waiting for, for those supports here to hold or not. And this triangle here could break uh, either to the upside and to the downside. It, it decided to break to the downside. So then I just I mark this as an A, B, C. This could be a C going up. You, this is the, the micro count. Then we would have this B here. Then we would have a one. This is probably a one, two, three, four, five. Definitely, it looks like a, a ending diagonal. Okay, we can mark it. But um, 
it, it does look like a lot, a lot, not as a, a wave one, not a, a motive, not a, I'm sorry, um, it's not a, a, a it's more a lot, it's more like a channel, right? It's a perfect channel, so it's, it can be a motive impulse one, year, then is a two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, it's a perfect channel, you see, two hours, pretty significant. Um, yeah, we would have started like here, right? Where I mark this wave B here, and then this would be a A, B with this triangle here, and then C here. All those lines here really offering some kind of support, okay? You see here? the intersection we stopped dropping right here and then we start going up uh, are we gonna if we go above the level of this a wave here where I, which i marked a where we have this 50 percent here this is where i have the stop loss for my short then we would consider if we go above it break this resistance here and I don't know, we go to this algo target here, minus 33, 60%. Then, this is 7K, okay? Then, of course, this this count here is invalidated. Then we would have something like this, okay? This would be our wave 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, C here. A, B, C. Then we would have indeed finished this wave E here, okay? But this is, there is no way there is no way of really predicting or forecasting that now we need to break this strong resistance here guy uh, this is strong resistance remember is that um region 6850 6850 okay well, what i'm doing oh sorry <laughs> i thought it was moving this one here this is the resistance right it's a little bit above it Remember, this has been a really strong, it has been a really, really important region for Bitcoin. You see a lot of movement, a lot of reaction upon touching it, okay? See here? It's where we stopped and we have this huge week coming down. This is the region of 6850. Six, it's not a coincidence, guys. We tried to break down here. This was in February and we have uh, and, and then we we had a reaction this time again some movement here below the 6850 and reaction we broke finally we broke it in june and now we are hovering around this region uh, uh, this we, we could we could draw um, a pivot here like a, uh, and we are uh, not a pivot, but a central line here, like this one here. And we are kind of dancing around it. Bitcoin, not us, right? <laughs> Bitcoin, oh. Oh, damn it. Give me the line, give me the white line. Why don't you give me the white line now? Yes, something like this, okay? It's you see that it's really important this region right so if we break above it above this 6850 6850 it's definitely a different it's a definitely a sign of a of a a break a upside breakout okay but so far what we have is that we broke out of this trend line but it's it can be a throw off it can uh, we, of course we don't have space here we don't we don't have any kind of a of of space left here to 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 continue going up and down so what's going to happen this blue line here has has been broken this uh this yellow line here has been broken we don't have we don't have any sort of a uh, of trend line here of course we can draw another one here yes we can start thinking about something along this line. but then it would be a, a old trend line going like here yes we have indeed we have other trend lines 
but not as strong as this yellow one here, okay? So, um, do, and uh, not only here, but here at the side, it's the same story. This, the RSI is, is pretty, it, it's, it's pretty uh, nice the way that it has been shaping this, uh, this triangle and then we are breaking out of, of it to the upside. The same thing here at the OBV. It's not a triangle though, but it's kind of a wedge, uh, falling edge here. And the CMF was above it, and then it's, it, it was down a little bit, down uh, to the below zero here, and now it's going up. It did all those things here, guys. Don't forget it, okay? Those are bullish signs, okay? They are not bearish signs. They are bullish signs. So we might have an upside breakdown. Okay, it's the same thing here at the CMF, showing that the volume is picking up here as well. We don't have the same thing here at the MACD though, but MACD it takes a little bit, uh, takes more time to go like this, to go crazy like this, to go to the to break out. Okay, we need to see a, a huge movement to have a MACD breakout here. But we see that the in Instagram, in the inside of the Instagram, uh, the Instagram, sorry, here, we see that it's speaking, we, we have a, a cross here, and it's kind of a, a bullish momentum. But, but it's too, way too soon to call it a, a, a bullish breakout and we are going up. Why? Because I think, uh, Honestly, this is my count. This is the way that I see it. I think that we are going to see another movement down and then we're going to go up. Like I am saying here. I am considering that we have a B here, a C going up like this. And then we would go down again to this green line. This green line is 6K. If we go below it, it would mean like, oh Jesus, that's a... Uh, uh, it's a, a nasty. If, if we go below six six uh, k, remember I I haven't taken out this this motive impulse wave going down here out of the table. Okay. Um, let me just clear a little bit the short. Um, so what's gonna tell us is this this resistance here if. If we go to this resistance 6850 and we hold it again and we go down, it's it's okay. Okay, we might have a running flat, uh, not a running flat, but uh, this would be our A, B, C. We might have a running flat here. Okay, C not going beyond the level of A. Okay, it's pretty common, and then we would have this B here. And then we would have the wave C here going down to this E here. Okay. Again, I prefer to be a bear, a, a bear in a bullish market. Always. Okay. We don't have a definite breakout, but pay attention. Okay. Be, be cautious and don't get fooled and don't get overhyped and start bu buying it and everything. Don't, don't be like that. Wait for it. Wait for a definite breakout out of this region. What region, guys? This region here. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Crazy charts, right? A lot of clutter. Yeah, a lot of different. Oh my goodness. This this is this is my if you have been following me, this is my 50% chart that which I have been uh, calculating the the retracements. Uh, I'm not gonna explain it again though. We are in this range of 1000. Okay, let me use this chart here. This chart here. Let me use this chart here. Yeah, this one was a, a really. Um, let me clear it. Okay, we are in, in this range here of 1000. Since this was what June, this was our lowest low of the year. 
here okay but then we are in this range of 1000 since september so this is our range of movement guys we tried here but this is beach phoenix forget about this week here okay forget about it this was that all the tether fud so i'm gonna consider that this is the range of movement that we have been like uh struggling to get out of it okay this is the range of move this is the what 6k to 6850 exactly that resistance that I said 6850 and the support 6000 so it's not a secret guys it's not a, a magic secret that we need to break out of either up or down if we break it down to below 6k we have here the, the lowest low of the year if we broke above it above 6850 we're gonna break a really key resistance the key resistance is this one here Let me change the colors. I, I don't know. I, I prefer to use this. Okay. If we break this key resistance here, okay, then we start thinking about uh, upside breakout, which which is a uh, which is ma which make a lot of sense to be a, a triple combo in my opinion. If this goes down, then we have another story. If, we, if this breaks to the downside and breaks this uh 6k region this region here not this green line here is the the lowest low of the year this one here it's six roughly 6k roughly 6100 okay this is the 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 range that we have been hovering since september okay we are now in november so two months a little bit uh i think it started yes this is september here okay this is the range guys so it's not a big deal what what has happened okay it's not a huge movement so we need to wait until we break to we, to, we until we break above 6850 or below 6k we need to wait otherwise of course you can scalp you can swing trade other coins but so far as i can tell bitcoin is it's within this range and we need to wait okay it, you see here the same range that i marked in that uh in that other in this pre, in the previous chart is the same range here where i marked my stop loss here and we have this line here showing the bottom line of this a here the same story here six seven okay this is my stop loss it's a little bit lower but and the, here the 6k oh, roughly 6k okay i don't know it, it, probably bitcoin is gonna be sideways for a while now for a while no it's gonna continue for it's gonna continue its sideways movement for i don't know until the end of the year okay and be prepared for surprises okay that's that's the that's the thing right markets are here not to to give what we want but to surprise us and we should be prepared okay so guys thanks for watching and i was uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys uh want want me to start analyzing different coins or different assets uh, leave me a comment below and if you haven't followed me on Twitter please uh, consider doing so you have my Twitter handle here Acomodo Crypto okay and join us in our free discord group Crypto Trader Educational Institute okay guys thank you very much and we see each other next one bye bye cheers